Yo, what is up guys, and welcome to this video. We are going to talk about what I have done the past week. So basically what I've done is basically just follow a tutorial by Braggy's excellent YouTuber with around 700,000 subscribers, and he definitely deserves this right now. But uh, enough of me kissing Braggy's ass. Uh, basically what I'm, I'm in the middle of, or, and what you're seeing right now, is an RPG that I've created uh, just by following this uh, tutorial right here. Yeah, exactly. And there's another side series to this tutorial series. So uh, if you want to learn how to like uh, create these, uh, this character, for example, you just maximize it. Uh, yeah, I can just zoom in on the character. You know this one. And if you want to learn how to like uh, create a character, the body. If you want to learn how to uh, later on texture it, uh, put some armor on it, put some clothes on him. And if you want to learn how to like. Uh, a rig, a rig a character, and then later on uh, just uh, animate it. Then I think that you should start by following uh, this series. So basically, what I've created so far is ba is just a, a RuneScape type of game. So as you can see, um, yeah, I accidentally just clicked that. Uh, as you can see in the cons, just ignore it. This I don't know what this is. Um, every time I click somewhere. The camera follows uh, the target. The target is the main player, right? And this right here. And <coughs> and what else? So yeah, when I when I right click on an interactable, now let's say this uh, sphere right over here. If I left click, if I left click on it, it's just gonna be uh, accepted as if I clicked right through it, right through it. So it's just gonna point towards the bridge. And my left click is just going straight through the interactable but now when i right click on it it's gonna say interacting with in interactable and later on I, uh, and i'm in the middle of creating an inventory system and i'm still learning guys so please don't yeah i actually didn't talk about the animation uh, basically this is the animation of, uh, we've created so far in blender it was actually a lot of fun just like see how everything works in the video game industry how you create these sort of things uh, characters play animator so this is the animation right if i just double click on it this is the blend tree every time we're going somewhere let me just maximize it there you go you can see my character right there now this is the blend tree right um, i created a type of fade over here so it starts by um, yeah, first I've created an idle animation, later on I created the walk, no, first off, I started by creating the walk animation, later on the run animation, and the idle animation. The idle was uh, easy, so that was the one, so that was uh, the last one that I created. Uh, later on you're gonna put it into Unity, uh, you're gonna import your characters into Unity, and uh, you're gonna configure and just adjust animations so it... Uh, so it's going to like uh, work out with, with the game itself, right? And the Unity engine. And let me just see if I can find this uh, script over here. Uh, character animator. There we go, this is the one. So basically, this is uh, where uh, Sebastian Lake uh, basically teaches, teaches us how to like use uh, the animation by the nav mesh uh, agent and how you can uh, I guess how you can fade or how you can transition from one animation to the other and uh, it's a pretty cool system and I'm still in the middle of learning this whole programming shit and yeah believe me guys this is only the beginning of something awesome so yeah so far this is what I've created um, just a little RuneScape game and this is actually an a test item so every time i click on it right <coughs> <coughs> sorry um, if i click on it right here this is the i don't know what you want to call it the sphere or something um, so if i now left click on it oh shit sorry i guess if i left click on it right now nothing's gonna happen Right. But then if I go back outside of the sphere, and if I go ahead and then I right click on it, 
then, then it's gonna like say picking up or interacting uh, with the test item and it's going to pick up the helmet of protection so basically what a, uh, how, I, how, I, how I made the test item uh, disappear was basically just using the function or something uh, destroy game object or uh, in this case um, destroy uh, item or test item um, so yeah, this is basically what I've created. Um, I guess I'm. Yeah, I basically just downloaded uh, this uh, this map from the dev assets from the dev asset store. I guess that is from uh, Bragg's own site. And uh, the character you're gonna learn how to create a freaking character from Blender. I mean, from the scratch of this guy, guys. Basically, this guy was made out of a fucking cube, like literally. So yeah, that was what I want, wanted to talk about. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below. See you on the next one.